Hello, everyone. Um, um, nice to see you all here. And thank you for having me here. Um, this won't take too long. Okay, this feels much better. <laughs> All right. Um, my name is Norhan Chahaya, as you know. And um, I'm a visual artist. And I was born here, but I studied visual arts in New Zealand. And I lived there for 
10 years prior to coming back. And um, it's been five years since I've been dealing with food. And, um, and that, that happened when I came back. And um, after that, I opened a little vegetarian place here. The first vegetarian little place here. And um, a lot of that started because as, an, as a visual artist, I was always interested in um, how our bodies function and um, how they function within time and space. What do we do? And um, that was explored through a lot of mediums, be that photography, video, and performance. But um, what I found very interesting, and that was after I came back here, that I started experimenting with food. And there was only one reason, because I was a vegetarian, and it was hard to get food here, you know, for my well-being. But um, the challenge wasn't just with food, it was with many other things as well, be that emotional adjustment to come to this place. And, um, and it took a lot of courage to see who I was being against my own place, my own, my own country. So I started reflecting my own body to the country, to what was happening around me, and to the soil, the the ground. Um, why I'm asking this question, can you tell me what I'm doing, is that, well, most of the time we don't know what we're doing. We don't know what our bodies want from us. Um, we don't know what we have. We don't know when we're sick. We don't know when we need anything, you know? And that has to do with a lot of food that we eat here. And um, being a vegetarian, I had to really search for good food here. And um, all you see here is um, fast food places and a lot of fast food places with bread and meatballs. And we all know what I'm talking about. But apart from that, what is very funny is that we have a lot of chemists, which is equally as much as you know fast food places maybe even more, you know? You go around the corner and you have a chemist, you know? And you, you get a pill and, and just in case you didn't find the pill you wanted, you can go to the other chemist and get another pill and then you have another place where you can get another pill and, and here it goes. In every, in every corner you have a chemist. And um, what I found very fascinating was how, why does that happen? You know, you have this, this bad food being fed to us in many cases, and then you have these chemists. And I even know people that take pills before they eat food so that they can eat the food they want to eat. And I found that, that to be really, really bizarre. Um, but one of the things that has to do with food is our feeling of security. You see, a lot of things make us feel secure, and food is one of them. And, um, and so I started to discover that Maybe, you know, it's kind of the feeling of security that we're seeking, you know. You need to feel secure with the food that you're eating. If you eat, you know, salads that just, you know, that's going to go in your body. It's going to be processed very fast. You're going to have energy, but who cares? You know, I'm not going to feel full. And so having bread and meat has always been really felt secure for us, you know. Just if there, it's secure and it's good. And um, so, you know, why, why did that happen? How can we, you know, I'm going to take a moment because I don't know what I'm doing. You know, can you tell me what I'm doing? Okay. So, um, in most cases, we, we have no idea what our body wants from us, you know. The, you eat that, okay? You go to the doctor and he says, you know, you take this and that's the medicine for you, blah, blah, blah. And then you do that. And, but um, when I started exploring food, when I started seeing what my body really wanted, I started seeing this whole new realm that I had to explore. And eventually, um, the food that we eat are going to, is going to take us to healing ourselves. And we have no idea about what it means to heal ourselves. And we have no idea about the power that we have to heal ourselves. And, and that goes 
with our own nation. We have no idea of the power that we have as a nation to heal ourselves. And, um, and a lot has to do with all the construction that has been taking on. You have all this construction out there, people are buying apartments, everything, great. Apartments are great. But that sense of security has come into our own homes. It's, it's your home, it's your apartment, it's your four walls, it's your food, your meat, your bread, and you're good and do not question anything. And then you ask, you know, why are things going this way? And I think, and I think for most of us, um, transformation will actually start happening when we start shifting that sense of security from our four walls to the earth that we live in. You know, what, what's wrong with this? Like, this is security. That has always been security because this is what has always given us the best food. It is herbs. It is things that our soil brings us that are always going to heal us. And if we're going to take any, and if we're going to make any difference, and this place is going to start from our two feet touching this ground. And that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>